Well, tonight, Cairo 7 has uncovered new red flags, warning signs about the man now accused of murdering a Bothell police officer. A week before that shooting, the suspect was already the focus of a different investigation. It involved murder threats and could have, but did not, land him in jail. Cairo 7's Gary Horker found out that suspect flew into a rage at people at work who had fired him, Gary. Well, detectives tell me that Henry E. Washington allegedly called the company Monique that had just fired him that day, and he went on a tirade, I'm told, threatening to murder his former boss. Now, investigators from here in Seattle to Renton all took those threats serious enough that they called the man on his cell phone trying to track him down. Exactly one week before Bothell rookie officer Jonathan Shoup was shot and killed while trying to make a traffic stop, police say the man who allegedly fired the fatal shots, Henry E. Washington, threatened to shoot and kill people at this temp agency, Labor Systems in Renton. Police say on July 6th, a secretary called 911 saying Washington was fired and he was threatening revenge. The man called her, threatened to come down, shoot the place up, uh, threatened to... Uh, shoot their boss, uh, made a, a bunch of very inflammatory, uh, inflammatory uh, frightening comments to her, and she was legitimately frightened. The report was shared with Seattle detectives because Washington had been working in Seattle. The Seattle officers had some conversation with him on the phone, but he was unintelligible. When our officer called him, he pretty much told the officer he didn't have time to talk, and he hung up on the officer. Commander Liebman said the woman eventually decided not to press harassment charges, so police closed the case. On Monday, police say Washington tried to speed away from a traffic stop, and right before firing at officers, he slammed his car into Jalen Irvin, who was riding a scooter in a crosswalk, shattering his leg. Hopefully I'll see you in court. Mm -hmm. It's the last time anybody sees you. A heat recognition camera aboard the King County Sheriff's Guardian One helicopter later spotted Washington hiding on a Bothell rooftop. Now if he's looking over the wall to the uh, south, looks he's going to jump off. He's oh, jumping he's, off the building. He's jumping off the building. Okay. But when he landed, he was stuck. He's between the buildings. Uh, looks like he's wedged between the buildings now. Allowing police to move in and arrest him. They're taking him into custody. Now you're looking live at the King County Jail where Washington was ordered without bail. He's expected to face several formal charges in King County Court this time tomorrow. And we'll be there to cover it live for you. Reporting meanwhile live outside the King County Jail, I'm Gary Cork, Cairo 7 News.